It was an unusual beginning to the work week for Patty Rosenfeld, manager of Revante's last call clothing store in Colombia. Retail giant Neiman Marcus sent Rosenfeld a cease and desist letter last Friday, stating the last call part of the store name is a brand they've trademarked. We don't understand why they think that uh, we would even be confused as a Neiman Marcus shop. In fact, Rosenfeld says there's not even a Neiman Marcus in South Carolina. Cervantes, a nonprofit, donates 100 percent of the proceeds to the Columbia Women's Shelter. In two years, that adds up to around $75,000. Every bit of the money that they have given to us has somehow or another touched the lives of hundreds of women. You have a for-profit business who is giving 100 percent of their net profits to a charity. It's almost like bullying at its finest. Shelter Executive Director Kathy Riley says any potential lawsuit would be frivolous but could have a devastating impact. The profits now are going to be to change logos, to change signage. You've got to change a brand, and that's expensive. A spokesperson for Neiman Marcus tells Watch Fox the company does not want to shut Revantes down and hopes to reach a deal. We certainly are in full support of the cause that they're supporting and the good work that they're trying to do. We work with nonprofits all across the country. But as a business owner and an owner of this trademark that we've had since 1993, we can't pick and choose where we defend our trademark and where we don't. We want to be able to donate to the women's shelter and not spend on something as trivial as this. It's corporate bully at its best. All we are is uh, something good for the community. Something Rosenfeld hopes will not be affected because of two words. In Colombia, Zoheb Hasnali, Watch Fox News.